Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm back with another tutorial for UniBasic or Pig Basic programming. So I have shared a lot of tutorials for uh, Pig Basic. If you are working with Pig Basic or UniBasic programming, you should watch uh, these tutorials to uh, you know uh, help you w while you are working. Okay, so if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. This is Linux Unix AIX. Okay, so if you if you uh, before I start, I want to make sure that you have undergone uh, uh, the channel uh, which is for Pig Basic, and you have watched the earlier videos, uh, which are uh, you know to start with the basics. Okay, because if you ha if you have not understood those things, you cannot understood cannot understand the new items. Okay, so please watch all these videos, and I'll be I'll keep on uh, adding more uh, uh, tutorials for pig basic programming okay uh, so let's start and uh, you know before any further ado let's start so today's topic is uh, you know find and locate command so it's a very common command which is uh, which is asked and even uh, it, these are very useful if you are working in a pig basic programming and also these are useful if you are going for an interview okay so these are very commonly asked question uh, in an interview like so what is the difference between find command and locate command okay so uh, so I'm logged into my uh, UniBasic uh, screen tickle prompt okay and uh, at any point if you need any help uh, you can always as I have earlier told that you can refer the find uh, the help section okay so I will be giving you a live demo and I will I'll try to under explain what is the uh, find and, and what is locate and how we can differentiate okay so at any point you can always refer the help section so help find what it is used for so it is basically searching for an expression in a dynamic array and it will return the uh, the location of that expression in the uh, in the array so it, 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 it will return uh, with the uh, three values which are f v and s so f refers to the attribute mark v for value mark and s is for sub value mark so if your dynamic array has uh, attributes uh, value and sub value it will return uh, to that lower level also that is the use of find okay now uh, if you, you you have to remember the syntax here and the syntax may differ uh, based on the basic type or the the parser that you are using okay so similarly you can also refer the uh, help section of locate so locate is again doing the same thing and it is the syntax of locate okay so locate is will uh, you know it will not return the uh, the uh, position in 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 at lower levels it will return only the attribute level which is uh, uh, location which will give only one value okay so now what is the difference in in locate and find we'll try to understand with an example okay so let's let's just uh, you know ri write a program uh, to you know make it more clear okay so i will be taking uh, a dynamic array okay so before that you know instead of that i i already have a dynamic array which i have written so i will quickly uh, take that you know to save my time so this is my dynamic array okay so so I'm just taking this and I will be using the same for my current program so test 4 is my new okay so this is my dynamic array so basically I have written the dynamic array in such a way that I have segregated it uh, into uh, uh, you know I have bifurcated it using the attribute mark and then value mark and then sub value mark also so that so that way I have all the possible combination in the dynamic array and I can make use of it okay so now uh, you know you know to, to, to understand the find and locate better you also need to understand first the how the attribute and value mark work okay so to and, and to understand that you always you know the always the best practice is to uh, you know uh, display it using the um, using the uh, dynamic array and its sub levels like for example if I print dynamic array 1 so it will uh, always uh, you know print uh, based on the attribute mark so if it is attribute mark 1 I am printing so it will only print 
SHAN, right? So if I am printing, let's say CRT DA, I want to display the second uh, second uh, attribute. So it will only take and print from this attribute to the un unless the next AM is is found. So this way is coming here. So similarly, if I want to print a dynamic array, so if I go to third. So, so now what is third here so third will start from the attribute mark here and it will go unless the next attribute mark is found so it will uh, print these all values so likewise you know you need to understand so now if I want to let's say if I want to uh, print uh, let's let, let's just try to run this machine you know, to make it understand so if I am saving and B for compile and run to run it okay so I'm, I'm I'm compiling in the mode uh, which is a, a peak basic parser. Okay, so you can see the dynamic array uh, one da one is shan, da two is uh, kar, and da three is the whole value like starting from dawn till here. See even the value uh, so value mark is also so basically the this attribute dawn is subdivided and I, again is having. Uh, value mark as uh, RAM so so basically Don is having one more value as RAM so it will print the whole value now the question is uh, if I want to display only Don uh, sorry only RAM RAM so how do I do that so the, in that case I can use 3 comma 1 so th that's where the uh, FVS comes into picture so F is attribute mark V is the value mark so now you see right so this is where uh, the comma comes into picture so it is actually printing the uh, f uh, first value of the third uh, attribute okay so likewise if you want to access uh, say that say this one okay so yeah, let's say fourth one so four uh, comma and then let's say you want to access only this this five 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 so you will you would say I would print uh, one this is the first uh, sub value then one then two then three so it will be three so if i do like this and see what is happening so you see uh, so now third if i say three so now three five five ha five is have again having a sub value at again uh, at a lower level so it is including both it is not only printing five 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 it is also printing three 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 so this is how you can understand so this is what i wanted to introduce before i start with uh, you know uh, find and locate so now we have a clear picture of how the dynamic array is designed okay so now uh, let's say I want to uh, so search for something so either you can uh, hard code it or you can you know accept it from the user so enter a string or expression to find okay so I am accepting it input then let's say IP input something like that okay so now what is the syntax of look let's let's just try to run find first so find and then the expression that you are looking for and is IP here find IP in dynamic array now here um, you can also give the occurrence comma occurrence but if you don't give by default it will take the first occurrence uh, then setting uh, pose so, so position will be returned in case of locate and in case of find it will return you the the absolute value with f v s so f comma v comma s yeah then I can have a statement like you know print something like this uh, the uh, the IP uh, IP found at okay so IP found at F F this is the first attribute mark and then you can say uh, then we can have uh, V F V and then we can have S right so this is how we can say it is found at this three uh, lower levels FVS and else you can say print not found right if it is not found I can say not found okay so IP 
not not found okay not found in in the dynamic array right so and then uh, so now you should also understand uh, if you return the FVS what will happen so uh, basically in, in find we don't uh, uh, say if it is not found we don't need to print FVS but you can also print FVS to see what is what it prints okay so I can also say F comma V comma S okay so V comma S let's see what it prints okay and then end so this is how the find works let's try to run this before I include locate let's try to run this much and see if uh, there is any error okay so there is no compilation error so I will go ahead and run it so if I B R so see now what is this happening this is the entire string which I have printed using the CRT now I'm, I'm, I'm asking uh, the user to enter a string to find so now here this is our array so let's say if I put uh, SHAN so what is happening the SHAN found it 100 because it is printing found the attribute level 1 and then there is this 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 attribute has no sub value or multi value or sub value so the, those are set to 0 right so now if I uh, run this again test 4 and I say I want to find uh, let's say let's say I want to find I want to find RAM RAM so what is it is printing see it is going uh, till the uh, third attribute is found and then in the third attribute RAM, RAM is in this second value so it is saying 3 2 that's why I'm getting 2 here and then it, this RAM RAM has no sub value so it is printing 0 okay so this you can get the absolute position using the find command okay now uh, let's try to run it again and some enter something which is not at all there so what is happening see okay so it is not found and then see it is not found and what it is returning it is returning 0 0 0 for all of them so f is also set to 0 v is also set to 0 and s is also set to 0 if it is not at all found and you see here we are getting a warning that uh, uh, that fvs is not initialized okay let's go back to our uh, program and try to understand now the include okay so now what I'm going to do is uh, 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 now we are going to locate section okay so locate section now see what how, how the locate work okay so locate section so now see how, again I will maybe I can I can use the same input or I can you know uh, so take another uh, input for 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 uh, locate or, or okay so let's use the same input locate IP in DA now here uh, setting uh, pose so here it won't return the three value it will only return one position one value setting pose locate input in DA setting position then I would say again the same thing print found at okay so found at pose and and else print now here it is important the position so if it is not found that is also asked in the interview so what will happen if it is not found and if I include this position so what will happen so if I if it is not found here then also if I print the position so what it will so I will I will I will explain everything just try to understand the program first okay uh, so now what is happening if I run this interesting so we have already understood the find so find if I say RAM now see what is happening so now you will now it will make you know you will be able to understand so if I say RAM so RAM is found at 320 so you saw right RAM is found but RAM is not found when we are using the locate command now that's where is the difference comes okay so locate will return you know a successful return or locate will be successful only when the search pattern will match the whole attribute value in including the lower levels 
okay so ram is here is at a, is a second uh, value of the third attribute okay so it is not matching with the whole value right so that's the reason it is not found saying not found and what is the five so whenever uh, you uh, if it is not found it will return the position of the uh, string where it can be placed to make a sorted array so it assumes that the array is sorted and that that new value which you are looking for can be placed at that position to make a sorted array so that's what the meaning of five okay so it's not found but uh, the value uh, so it the, the 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 index comes into the last position that that it, that value will be returned here so that, that is what it is okay so what now what is the difference between locate and find find can be successful if the element that you're looking for matches with any values like even the attribute level or the sub value level or the uh, the value level or the sub value level okay it, it matches at any lower level elements it will return successful but locate if to to locate for locate to be successful it has to match the entire element okay including this lower levels okay so that's the difference okay so yeah so just try to understand one more time so to to for example if i run this let's try to run it one more time so if i say kar so kar you can say it is found using the look find also 200 and it is also successful using the locate okay why because kar is the complete attribute okay there is no sub value in it and it is able to uh, you know find it at the attribute level so that's the that is how it is returning the position 2 okay so that is how, how it is differentiated so i hope you might have understand the difference if you have any questions still you can ask in the comment section okay so so again i will repeat uh, to to locate to be successful the the, uh, the search element should match the entire array element but to find for find in our in order for find to be successful it it can match with the lower level element also any lower level element if for example you are looking for 3333 it will uh, be successful because uh, if you was looking for 3333 it will say yeah so see the locate is becoming successful because locate is there in the fourth uh, fourth attribute and then value then sub value so you can see here fourth third value and third has again has a two sub values and it is matching there but the locate is not finding it because locate is, is comparing it is comparing 3333 three, three, three with the whole element this entire element but it is not able to find it okay so uh, the, so the entire element will be from here till here okay and it is not able to find that's why it is returning the last cursor position which is at 5 okay so it is saying not found okay also you can always uh, set uh, uh, an occurrence in the find so here in the find so in place of da you can also set da comma 1 or comma 2 by default it is 1 if you give 2 it will look for input in the string at the second position okay so i hope i have might have cleared every concept about find and locate command if you still have queries you can always ask in the comment section and please make sure you watch all these videos if you are new in pick basic programming thank you for watching